News since 5 Action News Jax investigates possible safety issues at a second Jacksonville apartment complex. We told you Callaway Cove Apartments had fire safety issues that needed immediate attention before last week's fire. New tonight, Action News Jax Courtney Cole joins us live. Courtney, you've learned it's not the only complex now managed by Millennia Housing that's had problems in the past. That's right, John. I looked through this HUD inspection report from 2017, and just like at Washington Heights, Eureka Gardens also had fire safety issues that needed immediate attention, including smoke detectors. But I spoke to a neighbor today who says since Millennia Homes took over, things have gotten better. Things don't happen overnight, but they're doing a good job. We got to be patient. Gail Thomas, the president of the Tenants Association at Valencia Way, formerly known as Eureka Gardens, told me they've come a long way since Millennia Homes Management took over Eureka Gardens last year. That whole complex have uh, central heating air now. Thomas tells me they haven't had issues with their water being cut off anymore either. They got a new uh, thing for the water. The water is good now. Uh, they working on putting the pipes down. Action News Jax has been reporting about problems at Eureka Gardens for nearly a decade now. Some of those problems include some of the same things the apartment complex was cited for by HUD in 2017, which includes insect infestation, problems with plumbing, and damaged walls. That's what earned the complex a score of 61C with an asterisk. That that's 61 points out of 100, with 52 health and safety deficiencies. According to HUD, the C means there are fire safety issues that required immediate attention, and the star means there were issues related to the smoke detectors. Thomas told me she believes what happened at Washington Heights could have happened there, too. We praying for the ones who got burnt up over there in Washington Heights. While some tenants worry Millennia Homes is moving too fast and cutting corners, Thomas said she will do what she can to make sure that doesn't happen. Emily Homes started renovations at Eureka Gardens last year, and they're hoping to be done by fall 2020. But after talking to neighbors, in the meantime, I'm working to learn why some of them now no longer have cable or Wi-Fi and what they're doing to keep tenants safe during construction. I'm still waiting to hear back. Reporting live on Jacksonville's northwest side, Courtney Cole, CBS 47, Fox 30, Action News Jax.